Hello everybody, welcome into this new video. In this tutorial, we're going to be using the Dali number 2. Earlier, we have to use the ChatGPT, and ChatGPT has helped us a lot into dropshipping. We ask a lot of questions like, um, look for some apps to enhance my Shopify store, and here were a few elements. But in today's video, we don't want to focus a lot into the chat OpenAI. We want to actually locate here into the open ai we want to locate dali number two so i'm going to leave you guys a link down below in the description if you don't have an account of open ai and into shopify so we can get started right away so here what i want to do is to have two tabs already opened the first one is my actual store and here into my store i want to go into products and here i want to look for the product that i already have here let's say for example this um carry on business travel back so I'm going to scroll a bit down and as you can see, I have some media here. So I, what I want to do here is to download this image. And what I want to do is to use this to import this into Dali number two so I can improve and use the artificial intelligence to have more generated uh, images. And I can try to, let's say, improve or have retain more attention into my store. So what I want to do is to download my image so uh, you can resource this or draw this I'm going to hit into download like that I'm going to hit in here into downloads and hit into save there we go now I'm going to go back here into the open AI and here into the open AI what you want to do is look for the daily number two you don't have to worry about this because I'm going to leave you the link down below so you can sign in like totally for free so once you get into logged in or create your account, you can whether choose your Microsoft account or choose a Gmail account, a Google account. It's going to be just really, really easy to enter here. So in my case, I'm going to choose continue with Google. I'm going to choose my account in here. And then we are now inside the Dali number two. Now, before I can get started, I can strongly advise you that here, for example, this image, I'm going to hit into open to photos. Uh, here this image what I want to do is to edit the uh, delete the background so I can implement this into DALI and let's say have a little bit more um, edition here so for that I use Canva Canva has a Canva Pro feature that can be helping us do the background remover but if you don't want to mess around with that if you want to do that for free you can try to look for a background remover um, into the Google search engine. So I think there are a few tools that can be helping you to do that. But in my case, I just want to tap a new a new design, hit into uploads. I'm gonna upload my file, which is this one. And then what I want to do is to open it like this. And I'm gonna make this a little bit more big like this. I'll remember that I just want just to not crop, just zoom this a little bit. And here I want to look for edit image and make the background remover. Of course, all the white space that appears in here. And I just need to wait a few seconds here. And just to make sure that the actual computer do their job, what I want to do is to click into my background and change that for another color. There we go. So as you can see, the product, of course, did the the great job. So I'm going to just click into show, download this as a transparent background. I'm going to download it. There we go. And I'm going to hit into save into the downloads. So I can go here into Dali number two. And here, what I can do is to, let's say that I want to uh, tell people that this is an space um, uh, a backpack on the, on the moon, right? So let's say you're going to tap here into the LA number two, a view of the Earth planet from the from a point of view of uh, let's say of a point of view from from a point of view of the moon. So here, what Dali number two is doing is to you just need to create a prompt. You enter a detailed a detailed description, and the computer is going to try to do what you want to actually are into your mind. So as you can see, it says a view of the Earth planet from a PO of the Moon. 
So as you can see, I don't have a lot of options. So I want to go back here. And I want to go into a new tab here. I want to go into, let's say, a view of the of Earth from the moon. Like this. I'm going to get into images. And here it is. So if I type in here, I want to download this image. Save image. And I want to hit into save. And I want to go back into Dali number two. I'm going to hit into upload to make this a little bit more accurate. Like this. And here's my image, right? So I'm going to hit into cropped. Edit image. And here, what I want to do is to import my backpack, which is actually this one. There we go. So uh, as you can see, this one actually, it's like too uh, big for us. So I think I'm going to just make this a little bit more smaller. Like this. And I'm going to move this in here. There we go. So I'm going to hit into preview and I'm going to make a few zoom here. And now what I want to do is to go back into edit and hit into cancel. I'm going to just hit into download. So what I just did here is to actually generate a variation and what the computers do is a variation of an image here. It's the actual same item, but uh, I just, uh, let's say that I just created, I'm going to hit into save here. I just actually created another environment. It's like the same environment, but I just make another environment using the same product. And with that being said, what I can do is to go back into DALI, upload the image that was generated for me. As you can see, it says DALI number two, hit into crop. And here, I want to generate some variations. So what the computer is going to be doing are different variations of the background of the product. And of course, what are all the elements inside the image? So as you can see, I have my four different variations. And this is like not too accurate if you want to make variations of your product, because what you want to do is to show the customers the exact product. I think this one is actually really great. But take a look into the variations. As you can see, we do have a backpack with different looking here. This is another kind of planet here. Um, another backpack here, another style of backpack. And there we go. So what I can do is to use this element to, let's say, delete this backpack and import the image that I just added. Let's say, for example, I kind of like this one. And what I wanted to do is to hit into the edit. And here I want to upload my image. I want to upload my product, the real product, of course, which is actually this one. I'm going to zoom this a little bit more like this. And here's my product. And it do actually have like great color, great size and all of that. So I can try to delete this and just track my new product and input that in here and hit into download. And I can use this new image to import this into my store. So I'm going to hit into add. And here is my new item. And here it says uploading. And here I want to move this into the media, front media. And I want to change the name of my backpack, Harry and Business Travel Pack. Let's say Cosmic or, yes, Cosmic, Carry On Business Travel Bag. Now, with that being said, I can go back into my store. I'm going to hit into Catalog. And once the custom backpack, now as you can see, it's now looking much more interesting. You have the astronaut style, and it have like more, uh, a little bit more creation. And here's a real image here. So this is just to help us to improve our our products. But as you can see, this is how we can improve our our own products here into Shopify and we can have like more great expectations from the customers. So with that being said guys, this is how we can improve our stuff. Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget guys to like and subscribe to the channel. You once again have the link down below in the description of both applications so you can get started on your own. Thank you once again for watching the video guys and I'll see you on the next one. I'll see you soon.